Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Aaron. This is 3D Studio Max 2016 and on today's episode I'm going to show you guys how to link two polygonal objects together using the target weld command. Okay, so let's jump right into it. This is very important. We're going to go to here and we're going to close this out because we don't need that. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our perspective view and enlarge that by going down here to toggle the maximum viewport. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our Create tab, and then we're going to go to the Box Modeling tool, and we're going to click on the Box tool. Once you have the Box Modeling tool selected, we're going to click out and drag a shape of a box up, and we're also going to drag another box down here and up as well, relatively about the same size. For those of you who forget how to navigate around, you can use the Alt tool, and while pressing that down, pressing the middle mouse button will allow you to rotate around the object. Keep in mind, if you have an object not selected, and you're over here somewhere and you hold the alt tool and your middle mouse button you will rotate around the object of the mouse not the object of this for example okay alright so moving forward when it comes to linking two objects together that are different in size and shape you need to make sure that they are uh, attached to one another and when I say attached then you need to be unified together how do we do that well in order to do that you need to first take these and you need to convert them to a um, edible poly and there's a couple of ways to do that, but I'm going to show you one of the easiest ways that I like to do this. The way we do that is you select your object indicated by the blue box around here. You go to the Modify tab, and down below here in the Modify tab, you're going to see this drop-down list. In the drop-down list, you're going to see here where it says Edit Poly. Once you click Edit Poly, this object is now editable. You can see here by the indications of the vertices, the edge faces, the polygons, and the elements, etc. You're going to do that for each one. So you're going to go to this object, you're going to go to the drop down menu, and you're going to go down to edit poly. Once these are two edit polys, you can now be able to link them together. How do you link them together? By attaching them. Here we go. So I'm going to click on this polygon, or this object right here, and I'm going to go down to where it says here, attach. You'll see it right here. It's under the edit geometry tab. You're going to attach. Once this is on, and I move my mouse over the object I want to attach it, and I click the button, it will attach it to this. Notice the color change happens pretty right away. So now these two objects are attached to one another. Now, I want to be able to attach these two um, and edit that. Make sure you shut off attach. And notice too, when you have them attached, now they're both together and they move as one unit. So one way to bridge this gap, or say you have a gap in a character or something like that, is to, to weld the points together, these two vertices together. Uh, if you can't see these, um, these edge lines here, one way to do that is to go to the tab here where it says realistic and make sure you turn edge faces on so that way you can see the edge faces of the object right here. See how they're yellow here? Now, or, or not yellow, they're white. All right, moving forward, making this uh, together, you have to go to your polygon mode and you're going to click on the surface of this polygon right here and you're going to delete it using the delete key on your keyboard. Pressing the delete key will now make that hollow. Rotating around to the other object over here, we will do the same thing and delete that. So now you have two hollow boxes that are here. And what we're going to do is we're going to connect this vertice with this vertice together and join these together as one unit. Now, how do we do that? There's a couple ways. You can click this whole thing here and you can move this using the move tool or the W tool on your keyboard and bring this closer so it's a little easier to view or bring together I should say um, or you can leave it as far apart as you want so we're gonna go into the vertices tool right here and I think you can um, no, that's where you're gonna click on the vertices tool I'm gonna scroll down or drag the mouse down here and bring it down here and you're gonna see under edit vertices you're gonna see this thing that says target weld you're going to click on target weld and you, what you're going to do is you're going to see that these vertices are showing up here right now, right? When you click on one of these, you can click it and it'll ask, it'll bring a, a target uh, marching ants dialog box here that's going to come up here and it's going to assign it to wherever you want the vertice to be. So as soon as you click this, that's how they will snap together just like this. So I'm going to click this target weld and I want to weld it to that one. You're going to go around the entire object just like this and you're going to weld these pieces together just like that. Boom. Keep in mind if you happen to have a vertice over another vertice it might get confused and, and linked to this one or to one in the background so be aware of that. Make sure you've got the right vertices connected to the right vertices and you'll notice that's how you target weld an object. 
Alright guys, thanks for joining me. That was a quick tutorial on how to do target well. Have a good day. Bye-bye.